What's up? Ranger Raymond 578 here, welcome back to Skyrim. Oh my god, this game looks so goddamn good! Okay, I'm sorry, I had to get it out of the way. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm always hyped to play Skyrim. Oh my god, look at that, I never noticed that. Look, there's the Shrine of Azura. Uh, I remember a couple parts ago, uh, we had finally did the Azura mission, so. Anyways, here we are. So, last episode, um... We, find, we found out that there's, a, there's some cool chick named Carlia who basically turned the guild in, into ruins, killed our old master, and almost killed uh, our dickhead boy, uh, Mercer, but um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> it's enough to it. Anyway, so we, we are here at Snowvale Sanctum, where we need a key to get in. Hey, yo, you didn't left your key in your other pants, did you, did you uh, Mercer? Um, because the thing is kind of locked in. We're gonna need a key. Uh oh. Uh, wait, where'd you go? They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Huh? Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how, not a lot of skill. That should do it. Wait, really? You. Um, hold up. It's still saying that it requires a key. Oh, wait, what? Um, oh, yeah, sure. Okay, whatever video game. All right. Anyways, um, so yeah, welcome back. Oh my god, I just found a straw in my chair. <laughs> oh, what's going on right now? Um, yeah, I literally just woke up like 20 minutes ago, and I mean, yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea. Tension here. This place smells of death. Oh, be on your guard. So it might be my morning breath, like you know, like I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm having coffee right now, and like you know, I, I don't know. <sighs> nah, I don't know. I don't think coffee breaths are uh, smells any better. Oh, oh yeah, Mercer is scouted ahead to these ruins, so. Should be spending a lot of dead bodies. <sighs> oh, man. I don't know why I'm like so hype at the same time, so tired. <laughs> that would make no sense. I had some really crazy ass dreams. Oops. I had some really crazy ass dreams though, uh, last night. Most of them were Walking Dead related for some reason, even though I haven't like watched Walking Dead in such a long time. Um. Oh, what's up? He's probably like the only character in the game that has it, like, that uses a dual wield, um, weapon. I'm probably, I mean, I'm, I know I'm wrong, there's like a billion characters in this game, but, like, this is the only Watch character I noticed. There and watch out for the spikes. Looks like oh. Carlia reset all of the traps. Uh-huh. The video is, uh, yeah, oh, come on. Alright, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. But yeah, that's a... Said, uh, yeah, I had some walking dead dreams. Like, I had one dream that I was like trapped in the. Oh, no, 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 but as I said though, um, I had a dream that I was trapped in a house with my family, uh, from the governors and his people. <laughs> and they were getting ready to burn the house down. They were trying to make some new negotiation, but like we were being stubborn, like, get the hell off our land, boy. And, uh, yeah. Um, no one died, by the way. Uh, I, I guess we all made it out safe. I don't know. Um, and then, hold up, and then, uh, we, and then I had a dream that I was actually Negan, which is awesome, because Negan is definitely my favorite character, and Walking Dead, even though I haven't, I've watched 
all the way up to the season that he was introduced in, and then I kind of just fell off with The Walking Dead because it got really boring. Another one? Oh, uh, I can join in if you guys, and if you if you need me to, like, hey, if you guys want to get out of the way, I can kind of shoot between you guys. Okay. Damn. Mercy, you're a tough dude. Like, you haven't gone down to anything yet. Alright, cool. I, I hope we, uh, I hope we, we stay on this good side. Alright. Anyway, so yeah, I was Negan. And, um, if, oh god, you know what? And, uh, and I had a little pet friend, Chorizo, from Far Cry 6. Um, and he was so cute, right? Like, so adorable. And I was going, and it, I was walking in the woods, and I was uh, across the river, and I remember I saw Ch Chorizo dead, and I started crying. And remember, I was Negan, right? And then out of nowhere, there's this one dude from the uh, TV show, uh, like he was like a bad dude. That I don't think he actually lasted too long in the uh, Walking Dead. But anyway, there's part of this game called The Wolf. Hold up. Actually, you know what? Better. Yeah, let's play this smart. Let's actually go with Bowman and just put a bunch there, just so I can get more conjuration uh, skills. And then Necromancer's Ritual, so I can heal. Like a little orgy going down down there. Mercy, your big head is kind of in the way, fam. Like, could you step to the left or the right? Actually, I'm, I'm kind of good here. Yo, look at Mercer, bro. He's not even at half health. Well, let's do this. Oh shit! <laughs> Mercy, you savage! God, Mercer, you are a savage, bro. Like, usually, like, my followers would be, like, down dead, like, after the first guy. You, you just took on two Death Lords, like, two Draugrs all on your own. Now, you know, of course, you had some help with me, you know, <laughs> no thanks to me, but. Anyways, yo, like, for real, I ain't fucking with this dude. Like, it, <laughs> like, I, I, I will never not you know talk crap about him but anyways uh, that's what i was saying though about my dream so yeah uh chorizo died and i was crying and then one of the bad guys from the Can't wolf from um it, it, I, I, if, if i'm not lazy enough I'll, I'll put a picture on the uh screen just so you know i can explain it better but yeah that guy came up and then me and him had like a hand-to-hand -hand combat uh you know you know fighting situation and blah 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 and then, uh, yeah, and then I woke up, so, it kinda sucks, but I actually wanted to see how that was gonna end, you know, with me winning, ideally. Yeah, I, I need another sip of coffee. Alright, there we go, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's how, that's what, that's the interesting stuff about my life. Another Death Lord, alright. Well, we know how to do this. Uh, just send just send Mercer in there. He he'll just take care of it for us. Um, damn, I really want to use this one. Wait, how far am I from use from being able to? Uh, okay, so it needs to be level 100, and I need to get conservation, or I need to <clears throat> another skill point. All right. Wow. All right. Um... Oh 
shit, there's like four dudes in there. Alright, let's uh let's play this more. Let's actually do another dying bird real quick. Oh uh guys. What uh move? Oh, there's two death wards in there. Why is this, why is the death wards like super popular today? Yesterday it was bears, and now today it's freaking death wards. Is this episode gonna be death ward, death ward, death ward? No, probably not. Probably gonna have something with Mercy name it. It's freaking monster. Alright, do I, you know what? Let's play with the scroll for a bit. Do I have anything that can, yes I do. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, he just staggered me out of it. Did that do anything to you guys? No? Okay, we're screwed. Uh... Okay, we're gonna need some more, uh, dudes. Uh, excuse you. Wait, did I not? That's pretty sick. I mean, pretty easily because I'm too far away, but there we go. Oh, the music is so good, though. This guy is like right at the uh, tip. Oh, wow, he's working on him. So, this Rocker Lord not even level 35. Because uh, this only works up to level 35. Oh, look at him run away, a little coward. Oh, oh, oh. So, a little, little hoe. Oh, he's actually running. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna have to chase him down if he. Oh no. Where'd he go? What, what the hell did he go? He's just. Ba oh, there he is. Mercer is still standing, by the way. I mean, I don't know what you, what else you want me to say. Like, I, I like, <laughs> if if you guys want to like, you know, talk shit about Mercer, go right ahead. <laughs> I ain't, cause I'm, I'm, I'm having to work with the guy at the moment. So, all right. Clever. Wake to wake the drugger, I bet. Well, considering that we already murdered like all of them, I think we're fine. All right. Go ahead and do that. that. Alright. Oh my god, more death lords. <laughs> Holy shit balls, dude. There is so many of them. Alright. Let's um let's do the astronauts. Why not? I miss I like these guys. Oh, hello, sir. How you doing? Uh, can you get away from me, please? Oh. Mercer has so much pride right now. But like, you're making this too easy. But like, <laughs> want me to turn the difficulty up? Oh shit, I was wondering where I was getting hit from. Uh oh, Mercer's on the ground, he's getting low. Uh, 
Alright, so we've got the bow. Sorry, Mercer. I just wanted to go to third person because it looked kind of cool. Oh shit! Mercer's actually down for- you know what? Even though Mercer's down for the count, he still did a hell of a good job. <laughs> some bears. I need some bears. They wear level 98. Alright. Some more Necromancer's ritual going. Okay, these bears are very lazy. Very lazy. They're, they're not even like. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Are you gonna go up there and uh? Where are you guys going? Wait, why are you guys? What are you guys doing here? No, the guys. No, the guys are back there. You gotta go upstairs and kill him. You can't. He's an archer too. Why do you think he's gonna come, like, come down here and mess with us? Okay, well, Mercer got back up. He's still an ultimate badass, even though he's down. Right now it's just an arrow battle. Yeah, my bears are completely useless at the moment. <laughs> he, Mercer just got up and then just went right back down. Alright, well at least my HP is increasing right now, so. Alright. Let's uh, wait until Mercer gets back up and then we'll go ahead and summon some more dudes up there. Actually, yeah, we do this. There we go, and Necromancer's Ritual. Such an abrupt end to our game. All right, you good, Mercer? You're quite noisy for someone who claims to be a thief. I, I mean. You, you, <laughs> You don't understand, all right? I'm, when you're doing YouTube, you know, and you're commenting, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep talking, <laughs> you know, or otherwise, you know, you might as well just be just watching me play the game mute. So, you know, this is how I interact with the viewers. Um. Okay, it doesn't look like we have anything else here to play with. Right. So I guess we have. Well, Right. Okay, I guess this is the way to go. Yep, there we go. So. Alright, cool. So, I do plan on playing... I sense a presence. Uh, as I was going to say. I... Oh my god, there's more Death Lord. Dude, why there's so many of these guys? Like, seriously. Um, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Cause they're all gonna die really quickly. Well, except Mercy, Mercy. Just fight, fight, take them all on by himself. Alright, we're going down, so let's go get some more out here. He 
Can you imagine if, like, West Grand DVD said that? I'll spit on your corpse. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. Get some more friends with us too. Wait, I missed. There we go. You know, I'm thinking that going as an archer. Like while playing, like the team kill was the smartest option. Cause there's no way I'd survive going against three death lords at the moment. Not like Mercer here. He's just, a, just a fucking legend, dude. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and get some more minions out. Uh, I think I can go up to five dudes. If not, uh, nah, no, let's go up to four. I'm stuck. Right now. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh my god, no way. Okay, there we go. Ooh, uh, that was scary. I thought I was gonna have to uh, restart. Alright. God, we're gonna have to be very smart on this one. Holy shit! Alright, there's that. Uh, call it Valor. Alright. Alright, one of the Death Lords is almost dead. I do not know which one it is, though. But my ghost is fist fighting skeletons. That sounds like a metal song. And yes, that does sound like a metal song because there's a band called Alien Name Me Settlers uh, that I used to listen to in high school. Okay. Time to get some more friends out because I am next. Alright, hopefully they can last long enough for my match to go through regenerate, but... Hi. Uh, where you going, bitch? Oh, we got a runner. Oh, look at that. He can't go anywhere. Oh, what a lame -o. Stick him, boys. No, Mercer, I'm gonna go ahead and call that what a fight. I mean, that lasted a good a good amount of time. So, I'm glad he's confident. Him and Westwood would get along. Or would, or would they? Because usually arrogant people would, uh, well, don't get along with arrogant people, do they? 
Alright, regardless though, that was a good fight. I'm glad that, you know, I survived. <laughs> That's the only reason why it's a good fight. So, anyways, a uh, little update on, uh, you know, some more videos coming out. Um, so, of course, you know, we got a lot more DVD content coming your way. Uh, today, I'm not quite sure. Um, but, like, cause, you know, I have a little bit of a choice. Um, I'm, what I might actually be doing is I'm gonna actually go with, uh... We're on the right track. Them through here. I think we're gonna play some of the Far Cry DLC. Um, I have played in another Your Death Lord. Hey, you know what, Mercy? You take care of that one, right? I'm gonna stay back here and I'm gonna just shoot him in the... Shoot him in the knee with my arrow. Because of the meme. But yeah, uh, we'll be playing the Far Cry DLC very soon. I might release it today. I might release it tomorrow. Uh, very soon though. Because I've been wanting to play as our boys bass. Especially because I want to hear more of my man though. He's so awesome. He's such a good actor. Yo, I'm such a badass. I was shooting this dude with my bow and arrow while one hand and then drinking coffee in the other hand. Alright, well this has been a hell of a dungeon. I hope it's worth it at the end. Well, uh, we're not at the end just yet. But you know what? I'm gonna be the smart guy and save because I just realized if I die, we're probably restarting this entire dungeon and I'm probably gonna have an aneurysm. Ritual, of course. Uh, did I just read a Dragar Death Overlord? Are you telling me there's something stronger than a Death Lord? Alright, and I need. I need more arrows. So you got a weird thing for dead thing for you. Yep, that is a death overlord. Alright, well, let's see how long this- This guy can't be any tougher, right? I mean, he can be tougher, but like... Come on, how tough can he be? Watch him just like one-shot me. That's probably why I should not be standing here. That good. This guy goes, he's probably coming straight towards me. Mercer, get out of the way. Alright, so get the big head out of the way. Can I actually shoot through it? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. When we go back to like get, having our party and stuff like that, I might be someone an archer because that's it's, it's not a bad idea to be honest. Like to have somebody do extra damage from range. I'm just saying though. Weapon disarm. Nice. It's been a while since we've actually uh, got another. Uh, uh, I'm about to say force power. <laughs> it's been a while since that we actually got another uh, shout, but cool. Let's right, see what we got here. We got all right, all right. Somebody's a worse stealing. I like it. A lot, a lot. Uh, all right. So I saw this door. Here. What was that? More? Oh, oh, come on, dude. You're just a regular grunt. Oh no, get out of here. Get out of here. This one shot. Why did you even waste your time with that fam? Alright, he's probably coming out to stretch his legs. He's probably getting ready to like, you know, walk outside, you know, smell, smell the fresh uh, morning air. 
you know, probably had, probably had some coffee cooking. Oh, oh shit, man, that was a weird dream. It just felt like some random dude was just spitting on everybody's corpses. Oh man, I hope that doesn't happen. And then you just see Mercer, and Mercer's face is just intensified like he is right now. Look, and then yeah, and then he gets, you know, his horse spit on. <laughs> All right. Uh, did we get a dragon cloth? Because we did. I want it first of all, and secondly, um. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlia already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlia's close. What the hell? Certain of it. Now let's get moving. Mercer, can you teach me how to do this? Because it would, like... It, it would just solve some problems like I have. What? What is it? I, I mean, I'm just, Let's get going. But I just I want, want her head on my man. All right, fine, whatever. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, well, I'm dead. Nice. Well, thanks for watching. That was the end of Skyrim. <laughs> Roll credits. Honestly, think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. Oh, her You're voice a sounds cool. girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Is it me or is Mercer acting like the villain here? I'm oh. no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But hey, yo, she knows. Time we meet. She knows. We'll she's she's, she's probably time. seen Mercer freaking fuck up the dungeon here that we just went through. Uh, I'm gonna pretend not to hear that, and um, you know. How interesting! It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. Uh, well, I'm not you know what dead it yet. me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regard. Uh, so you're the, you're just gonna stab me? Like, I mean, I'm already dying here. So you, I, I don't think you need to finish the job. I think the job is finishing itself. And I'm dead. Yep, that's the end of the game, people. Full credits. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? Hold on. You, you shot me. No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Oh. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Why save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. You should have shot Mercer instead. I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why capture Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. Well, how will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's to say? I wish I knew. The 
journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Perhaps it can be translated. Enther. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. Is that word again? Ooh, shit, hell, I'm on it. Is that word again? Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. So why didn't you kill Mercer? Mercer lied to the Guild. He branded me a murderer and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Man, I have a choice next time. I can promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Tell me about Gallus. He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales and honed my skills to a razor sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. You were lovers? Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. Responsible for what happened to him. So can you come with me to the winter to winter hold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Remember, speak only to Enther. Trust no one else. Alright, few things. First of all, do not ask me why Carlisle's eyes are purple when every other Dunmer is red. I, 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 I honestly do not know. Maybe it's something to do with being a nightingale or something, but yeah, anyways, we'll take that. Uh, secondly, yeah, so there we go. So the story goes is that Mercer is the one who killed, like, you know, uh, Gallus, taking the uh, funds from the Thieves Guild and Fame Carlisle. Um, and you know what? You can kind of get a sense of that, uh, that Mercer was the one who uh, is, you know, the evil dude. First of all, uh, he's, a, he's an asshole, so, you know, assholes usually do stuff that assholes would do. Secondly, uh, the way he murdered the horse, to me, is a bit of a sign. Uh, because only, a, like, a, a really, you know, hard-ass brute, you know, psychopathic kind of guy would just murder an animal. Not, like, you know, have him go free in the wild or something like that, you know? But usually they say that... Uh, can I help you? Are you are you lost or something? Like, seriously? Okay, maybe that was the twelfth. Oh, right, shut the fuck up and just keep moving. Oh, okay, I'm gonna help out. But anyways, now as I was saying though, uh, yeah, uh, psychopaths are usually uh, one of the early signs is that uh, yeah, if your kid is going around murdering animals, um, I. You know, I'd, I'd go see Dr. Loomis, um, you know, see if uh, he can uh, investigate. And obviously that was a uh, Halloween joke. That was uh, probably a really bad one, too. <laughs> There's like the majority of my jokes, but eh, oh well. As I've said before, I try to be entertaining. Um, so. But yeah. And, yep. If you're wondering who are the nightingales, well, we will find that out pretty soon. Um, well, not pretty soon, but we will. Jenny, man, no. How you doing, sir? Uh. Oh. Uh, you're not a good guy, are you? We'll have to find out. There's someone there. Yep, you're a bandit.
Okay, I can't hit him from here, so let's go ahead and be. Uh, let's go ahead and cheat a bit. There we go, this should be enough. Oh shit! I mean, no, I got more stuff to conjure, but I think that's all I need to use on you. Hey, load a Sovereign Guard for me. Alright. Alright, real quick, I need to change my uh, headset battery. So, I just, wait, did, this, did that bandit just shoot me through its shoe? Alright, someone has a f foot fetish around here because, uh, <laughs> I got no feet. This guy has a, yep, yeah, okay. No feet, I mean no shoes. Alright, um, wait, what? Okay, here we go. Hold on, why can't I not take this, uh, potion here? Uh, video game? Come on. Hello? No? Okay. Alright. Third for a minute. Okay. Uh, I just took it because I thought I didn't know if I actually need that or not. So, uh, do I have anything else I can use for alchemy? Oh, okay, cool. Alright, so um, I look like that's about it. So, oh damn, this guy got a. That was straight in his head. So, story-wise, uh, and this is part of the reason why I love Skyrim. It looks like this mage here, guy here, Bor. Wait, this guy actually has a name. That's interesting. So, Borvir, um, seems to be, you know, just living in seclusion, just chilling out. Um, and this asshole decided to come and kill him. Yeah, what a douchebag. But then again. If you decide to live out in the wilds all on your own, I mean, that's the kind of thing you gotta look out for, so. You need, uh, you need protection, regardless. So, especially in Skyrim, um, I mean, I've said this a couple times before, Skyrim is pretty much the Australia of, uh, Tamriel, like, like, in, like, in Skyrim, you are at the bottom of the food chain, everything wants to eat you. Including this wolf that we have here. So, okay, well, you're definitely gonna die before I do. There you go. Another camp site here. Wait, what? Uh. Interesting. Let's see if there's anything of use in here. I don't think this guy's gonna need it anymore. No, but he has some hella valuable stuff in here. What the hell happened to you? I don't see any arrows or weapons. So this guy wasn't even like trying to defend himself. Do you think he could have been related or uh, could have had anything to do with Borbeer? I mean, he's not that far away from him. Hmm. Campfire is completely covered in snow. So this guy definitely been here for a while. I mean, obviously too, he's a skeleton, right? Um. Well, who knows, so, this is what, again, this is what I love about Skyrim, there's stories that have been told, or to be told, um, and sometimes you're just walking to the middle of a situation, and yeah, I mean, I think I just got wrecked, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't know what happened, you, you're just there, you know, see, either seeing it happen, or, you know, it's been like ages since it's already happened. You're just seeing the aftermath of it. So, whatever. Alrighty. Let's uh, yeah, let's get back on the road, boys. I mean, honestly, it's been 
more safer to be off the road considering that we just passed a troll and a bear and they were like on the road or next to the road so whatever oh man i can't believe we're almost done like with skyrim for the weekend too oh i'm gonna miss this game so i mean i could play this anytime i want to but playing it on the weekend has become like something special to me uh you know just waking up early in the morning drinking coffee etc etc so you know what while we are here let's go ahead and actually go into the library first and get one of our farmer books uh translated by the uh librarian guy now we might as well knock out two birds and one stone <laughs> well one book you know what i mean <laughs> no okay because you know like i have like two missions and they're involving like books and translation well i guess the uh, these guild mission isn't technically involved in books, but, uh, whatever. I'm gonna shut up now. All of the elements. Alright. Wait, I think I just went to the wrong one. No, I think I went to the right one, actually. Yeah, I went to the right, uh, area. Sup? Uh, do I have my conjuration? Oh, nope. Oh, it's almost there, though. Past halfway point. Services. Alright. Yeah, it's apparently it's a mission we get from uh, raising all of our spells, or each of our spell classes, to 100, so. Um, it looks like we'll be able to do Conjuration first, which is awesome, because, yeah, I do love Conjuration. It's my favorite uh, class of magic. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Uh, wait, what? Hold up. Do I not have a book where I needed him to translate? I'm pretty sure I saw that yesterday. Um, bring ancient farmer tome to erect. Mm -hmm. Go Wait. Oh, I think I left it back at home in Hendrheim. Wait, what? Yeah, I think I left it back at home, so. Oh well, whatever. Try to uh, waste everyone's time. And I will proceed to not waste any everyone's time by just quickly fast traveling over to the, uh, over to the main mission. All right, there we go. All right, so. Come on in. We got warm food. Uh, where's my boy? Here he is. Just gonna sit next to him, like a weird guy. At least in America, it's weird. Just sitting next to a dude, just like, out of nowhere. It always just creates an uncomfortable feeling because Americans are still, uh... Um, I don't know what you say. Basically, in one word, you don't go around hugging people in America. Unless, you know, it's for their consent. Otherwise, it looks really weird and we get, like, you know, we get, we, we throw, we throw them a fist. Yes, yes, what is it? I understand you're an elf who knows how to get things. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, you gonna move, fat ass, or are you gonna finish your bread? I understand. Corey there we go. Has been complaining about our customers again. What of it? It's Can I help you with anything else? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yeah, but there's a problem. A problem? Let me see it. No, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. What exactly is a farmer? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. So they were like your kind? Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. So I drove them underground. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. 
The former retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. They sounded more like victims to me. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. So why did Gallus describe his journal on Falmer? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. So where did he acquire the knowledge to use it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. What can you tell me about Gallus? He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. He was a, he was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why? For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. How did you meet him? <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Alright, well, looks like we got our next objective for the next episode. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, so here's what Gallus' journal looked like. Alright, Journal of Gallus Desidenius. I never heard, knew his last name. And, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it, so. Alright, anyways. Uh, so yeah, so that's a lot of stuff happened in this episode. Uh, we've learned out that fucking Mercer loves spitting on corpses, which sounds kind of weird, but I mean, hey, you know what? Everybody got their own kinks, so, you know, you do you. Uh, but he's also an asshole, uh, believe it or not. And he, uh, killed Gallus, uh, framed Carlia, and trying to, and it's, I mean, obviously the evidence all supports that he's trying to take the money from the guild. You know, because he said, he mentioned that he spent thousands and thousands of septums trying to track down Carlia. Well, obviously, um, you know, that's a lie. Like, he's obviously stolen the septums. Um, you know, trying to find his own, for his own, uh, greed. Uh, so yes, yeah, so secondly, or thirdly, whatever, um, you know, we finally met Carlia, and we got to learn more about Gallus, and Gallus is a pretty chill dude, you know, like, I, we, we could probably hang with him, um, except that he's dead, uh, but yeah, there's that, um, Carlia is pretty cool too, um, so, yeah, and now we are supposed to be dead, why not though, um, and that's all I gotta say, can I help you, why are you staring at me? Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking, alright, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, so, hello. I don't like doing business with Azora's faithful. Make it quick. Oh, that's the guy that I was. Sh I should have brought the star. Well, I would have brought the star too, but nah, man. I. The mages I, don't let us go. Azora, she, 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 they that, that's that's safe. that's the ninja god I would rock with personally. But um, yeah. What's up? Aster says his paw says that college makes lots of bad things happen. But the mages I've seen look nice. Yeah, we're pretty chill. Alright, well, that's it. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So next episode, we'll be heading over to Mark Arth, getting Galaxy's Journal translated. And, um, yeah, and hopefully see, you know, what heist that he could have been planning that had something to do with the farmer. And, hey, you know, we'll see what happens with the guild. So, thanks so much for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next episode. Later. Oh, this music is so nice.